uh, I would like to introduce you uh, Richard Zupancic uh, and uh, we, are, we will be talking about uh, tourist farming and uh, the possibilities of tourist farming in, in Bela Kraina. We, are, we started this uh, activity, tourist farming, in uh, 2005 and uh, the, the whole idea is to sell your own products to uh, people who, who visit you and uh, since we have an uh, uh, apple orchard, uh, trout pond, uh, sheep and uh, some other products, some vegetables uh, we started to uh, we started thinking that it would be nice, it would be uh, the best for us to sell our products to uh, people in uh, this way, uh, like guest houses, and prepare uh, prepare food for them. Uh, so uh, the whole idea is. Uh, uh, to use your own products, that's, that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm an ecological farmer, uh, so it's quite the opposite of uh, intense farming, uh, mass production of, of food, which is not really possible in the region like Bela Karina. We are not like uh, Pannonia, so the... the uh, uh, the fields here are smaller, the farms are smaller, so I think that average uh, average farm here is like 10-15 uh, hectares of, of everything, wood, uh, fields, uh, pastures. Uh, so it's not really possible to have an industrial farming here, which, uh, you know, I'm glad for it. Uh, because I think that uh, nature is something that is far more important than uh, uh, making profit with mass production of food. You don't damage the, the environment, I think that this is the point. Um, and most of the people who uh, have, I mean, I know a lot of uh, people who, who have uh, tourist farmers, farms and most of them are uh, doing it on ecological way. Because uh, people who come to places like this, like rural places, uh, they want to have a good quality, uh, healthy food. I mean, it's one of the reasons why they would come here and uh, spend money. How, what is the proce procedure if you want to uh, have a tourist farm? Or well, first of all, you 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 have to have a farm, which is obvious uh, and uh, then uh, at least 50% of the things that are on the menu uh, must be produced uh, on your own uh, so and there uh, then it's the other thing with uh, uh, inspections like sanitary inspections health, health inspections things like that the, the whole, uh, the whole uh, bureauc bureaucracy procedure must be uh, in order to, to, to start it. Can you describe the place where we are? But uh, the, we are in the village Yershevnik. Uh, just an ordinary uh, village in Bela Kraina. Uh, with one uh, special thing. Uh, this is uh, the, the small uh, uh, creek. Uh, the, uh, we have our own water here and another special thing is the black human fish which is uh, living only here so it's an endemic uh, the thing that uh, inspired us also uh, you know, so that we started thinking about opening uh, this tourist farm is the uh, natural the beauty of nature here so uh, it's something that attracts people and uh, they like coming here uh, because of the nature and quality of food and... Uh, Why is this place worth visiting? Uh, I think that uh, this, 
You mean this specific location? Yeah, I mean, yeah for this? example, uh, the this but location. I think, yeah, this is one one thing that is quite uh, uh, common uh, to to all of the tourist farms here is 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 uh, the beauty of nature, uh, the the peace and quiet. People can get relaxed. And I think that uh, quality of, of what we have to offer, quality of food and, and drinks. So I think these this, uh, things are something that are quite common to all of the, the places. And the scenery and, uh, you know, you, you can take long walks, you can ride with bicycle, the activities also. Do you think that uh, uh, for example tourist farming is one of the option for uh, for Bela Kraina? I mean yeah. in tourist development aspect I think that since the uh, industry in Bela Kraina is uh, it's not a industrial region there is not a lot of jobs uh, in industry uh, uh, and and the potential of Bela Kraina is 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 its uh, nature resources its tourist as as a tourist destination i think it's quite uh, it has a lot of potential so one of the things uh, that are logical are uh, tourist farms uh, accommodations uh, all these things i think that we have uh, still uh, maybe too little to, to offer to a person that comes here. There's no long tradition in tourism in Belakraina. I think that uh, people working in Ritz and, and people who are trying to promote Belakraina are doing a, a nice job. And I think it only takes some time for, for uh, promotion of the region. And, uh, the other thing is that it's, it's, it's not really good for us is the infrastructure, the roads. Uh, we're quite away from all the bigger cities around here. So uh, this, these are the things that should be uh, taken into consideration. Otherwise, I think that tourist farming is uh, uh, one of the things that people can, can, can live from in this region, for sure. Uh, what uh, kind of things uh, could be a, a breakthrough for this region? I mean, uh, taking into consideration the touristic attractions, possibilities, uh, and another potentials I mean, in touristic aspect. Well, I think that uh, some of the things are, are uh, improving uh, and uh, maybe uh, there should be more connection between different uh, tourist sites uh, so if you have weekend tourism uh, you should make it interesting for the people uh, so they, it would be possible for them to see uh, different things so let's say the weekend would be uh, full. Mm -hmm. This is one uh, thing and I think that the other thing that should be really improved is the accommodations, the rooms, the possibility to, to sleep. <laughs> uh, because a lot of tourist farms have this problem that they don't have uh, accommodations. Mm -hmm. Let's see the place from the top so you can get the picture of what it's like. It's actually the, the place we can uh, put a, a, about 30 people inside. Uh, if the weather is good, then they can also be outside. Uh, and people uh, usually prefer to be outside when the weather is good.